Hello and happy Friday. This is Pastor Chris coming back to you again with your Sunday Primer. Now we have been studying through the book of First Samuel, but it is Thanksgiving time. So we're going to talk a little bit about what it is you are thankful for this year. Each and every week, we try to give you an update of what we're teaching on Sunday morning. If you don't have a church home, our services are 11 right here at Christ Central. 19 West Shannon, come and join us. If you have a church home, please be part of them and be the best member of that congregation you can possibly be. Well, as we look to Thanksgiving, there's a few things that obviously crop up. There is the turkey and the getting together with family, uh, at least here in America. And because of that, there are some stresses that come along with it. We're thankful for the things we have. Uh, sometimes we're even thankful for the struggles we've had and where God has blessed us through them all. But today, I thought maybe we could focus on the non-material things, the things that are eternal, the things that never go away. And we have a couple passages for you today to kind of get your juices pumping and get you really thinking about this. And the first one I'll put on the screen right here, and it comes from Matthew chapter chapter 28 and it says this teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you and lo I am with you even to the end of the age and that's my first point this afternoon is that Christ promises to be with you till the very end of the age we know because of death burial and resurrection that Christ is absolutely eternal uh, he never died he went to Hades and conquered death and came back and making a way for us to salvation and so because of that unlike everything else in your life that fades gets old with time and wears out like your own body or your house or your car Christ does not and that is something I'm absolutely thankful for today our main passage actually comes out of the book of Hebrews, Hebrews chapter 13. I'll put that on the screen here as well. I'm going to read you a small section of that. It says this. So we say confidently, the Lord is my helper. I will not be afraid. What will man do to me? Remember those who led you, who spoke the word of God to you, and considering the result of their conduct, imitate their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Do not be carried away by the varied and strange teachings, for it's good for the heart to be strengthened by grace, not by food. Though which you need were so occupied, not benefited. We have an altar from which those who serve the tabernacle have no right to eat. For the bodies of those animals whose blood is brought into the holy place by the high priest as an offering for sin are burned outside the camp therefore jesus also that he might sanctify the people through his own blood suffered outside the gate see that is exactly that i've already mentioned the death burial and resurrection of christ the point of that is to set us aside and sanctify us as his people now not only was there pain in that particular offering that gift that he gave to us not only personally for him the physical pain and the emotional pain but also the father giving up his son, uh, it, one and only son for our benefit, not because we earned it, but as this amazing gift. You know, so not only is God with us forever to the very end of the age, but the sacrifice is huge, it never wears out. You know, one of the most amazing things about Christ's sacrifice and our salvation is that even though it was done for us, it is large enough to encompass everyone. His grace is sufficient for me, it is sufficient enough for you, and for all those you know. And so those are a couple of the five things we'll be sharing on Sunday morning that you can be thankful for that never go away. These eternal thankful things that we've been given as believers in God. Well, as you are sitting around uh, your feast table, getting ready to give thanks for all that God has done this year and all he's going to do next year, I want to encourage you to remember those eternal things. So even if there is, and I know uh, there may very well be, an argument across your feasting table uh, where you see relatives you haven't seen in a long time, and maybe, just maybe, topics come up that you're not as comfortable with, and maybe people get on each other's nerves, don't forget, 
to continually be thankful for Christ's sacrifice in our lives. It will change your perspective in the upcoming year. Well, I love you guys very much. Thanks for being with us this week. We will see you in church this Sunday.